Hello everybody, welcome to Storytime with Bridie. Today we are going to read... The Tiger Who Came to Tea. The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Now to tell the truth, I wasn't really sure what book we were going to read today and then I got sent a picture of a friend of ours in Auckland and her name is Alice and she was next to a tiger and I knew which book to read. So hello Alice from us. Okay, the tiger who came hello, to tea. Lori. Hello, Larry. Hello, Larry. Uh, with by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie, and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring I at the tea. door. Tea. It's like a cup of tea, and there's some biscuits and some cake sometimes if you have tea. Ring. It's like morning tea. Right, but in the afternoon. You can have it in the afternoon. That would be afternoon tea. Sophie's mum said, "There is sometimes no tea." <laughs> Sophie's mummy said, "I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning, and it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day that he comes, and it can't be Daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see." Sophie opened the door, and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said. Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. They don't know how much tigers eat. Yeah, I think they're about to find out how much tigers eat. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwiches. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Mm. And he, silly tiger. Silly tiger. <laughs> and he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. Look, all at once. Mm. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. Then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. Look at Sophie's mum, she's thinking, oh, what are we going to do now? And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Mm. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he ate all the milk and all the orange juice and all Daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. Dear Daddy was so clever. So clever. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. They also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should ever come to tea again. But he never did. Thanks so much for listening, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. See you later. Bye.